Depth guys are more important than anyone really thinks about when it comes to teams in the NFL. Ryan Poles and Ian Cunningham have done a great job at getting new starters for the Chicago Bears, but they do have to focus on the depth guys as well. And days three and four so far in free agency have been dedicated to just that. Teams need depth guys. Glue guys. The ones that can be the next man up. They've already filled the need in at wide receiver one with DJ Moore. Linebacker core with Tremaine Edmonds and TJ Edwards. Guard with Nate Davis and even defensive end depth with Demarcus Walker. Poles and Cunningham aren't done yet, and the last two days have definitely answered that. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde. Thank you for always as for tuning in. I have all the updates from today, 316, and yesterday, 315. Speaking of 315, I would like everyone, if you could, please, in the comments section, wish my father a happy birthday. Yesterday was his birthday, and we had to celebrate it, and I was very grateful to see him, but also very grateful that he's the one that encouraged me to pursue creating this channel. Happy birthday, Dad. Love you very much, and as always, thanks for being my number one fan. So what's been done so far? Far and what have we reviewed? The Bears signed linebacker TJ Edwards to a three-year $19.5 million contract. The Bears signed linebacker Tremaine Edmonds to a four-year $72 million contract. The Bears signed offensive guard Nate Davis to a three-year $30 million contract. And they signed defensive end Demarcus Walker to a three-year $21 million deal. Now, before I get into the new guys that we brought in over the last two days, we unfortunately did lose two. The Bears lost out on re-signing running back David Montgomery as he signed a three-year $18 million deal with the Detroit Lions. I would assign Monty to a three-year $20 million to one keep him because I think he's a very valuable part of the Bears locker room but also a great player as well. Wish him the best of luck and Detroit fans that follow this channel you guys got a good one. Bears did cut quarterback Trevor Simeon. This saved Bears a million dollars in cap. Best of luck to Simeon a Northwestern graduate also still lives in the Chicagoland area had his chance to come play for the Chicago Bears did the best what he could with it, but he's going to have to find a new home. And the reason why they cut Trevor Simeon is because of some of the new guys. Bears brought in quarterback P.J. Walker from the Carolina Panthers. They signed Walker to a two-year, $5 million contract. The 5'11", 210-pound, 28-year-old also had significant success in the XFL when he played there a few years ago. Steal the deal, in my opinion, for only $5 million bucks. He's a proven, flashy quarterback who can do it all and also be a great filler in for Justin Fields and not lose momentum in how the offense is designed. In 2022, in five games or six games where he went three and three, he had 731 passing yards, three touchdowns, three interceptions, a 59.4 completion percentage, and six rushes for 39 yards. Not sexy stats by any means, but a great filler guy and helped Carolina win a couple big games and also has a great connection with DJ Moore. Followed by that signing, the Bears signed running back Travis Homer from the Seattle Seahawks, signed a two-year contract worth $4.5 million. The 5'10", 202-pound running back is only 25 years old next season. A very vast running back who also is actually one of the better pass-blocking running backs in the NFL. To be honest, not too many stats in 2022 to hit on, but he is a great pass blocker. He's got a ton of speed, and he'd be great in the kick return and punt return game as a returner. Uh, this signed in a grade of 7.5 out of 10 as Herbert looks to be running back one this upcoming season. Let's go into the new defensive tackle depth that we got, Andrew Billings. Signed a one-year contract worth $3.5 million, a 6'1", 328 pound wall of a man 28 years old good veteran great depth guy up the middle for the chicago bears is he the answer at defensive tackle no but he is a great veteran and a great depth guy because in 2022 he had 39 total tackles for a defensive tackle that's pretty darn impressive along with one sack three tackles for loss and three quarterback hits i like the sign in as well i give it a 7.3 out of 10 and as i'm recording the bears decided to bring in tight end robert tunyon from the green bay packers he signed a one-year contract i still don't even know how much it's going to be probably under four million dollars but i love this signing 8.2 out of 10. Why? He's 6'5", 237 pounds, 28 years old, and a Chicagoland kid from McHenry, Illinois. In 2022, he had 53 receptions for 470 yards and two touchdowns, but he did have 11 touchdowns in one season a few years ago for the Packers. Why is this grade so high on this signing? He knows Luke Getze's playbook better than anybody. That's two Packers receivers the Bears have brought in over the last couple seasons with Tunyon and St. Brown. I really like the decision to bring him in. If they can pick up on the offense quickly, a veteran that also can help with 
teaching Cole Komet, though Cole Komet is really turning into his own. I am very excited about Robert Tunyon being a Chicago Bear. Also, it's a little bit sweeter because of the fact that the Green Bay Packers are absolutely falling apart right now. Sorry, Caleb. And finally, it has been addressed today that they're considering moving Cody Whitehair to center. So it looks like he may not get cut. And honestly, I wouldn't mind it because Cody Whitehair saw a ton of success at center from the times he did play it. We'll keep updating you guys as time goes on. But with that, thank you very much for joining this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde. We'll see you guys next time.